Hi everyone. I'm going to show you how I wrap my uh, 20 ounce skinny uh, straight tumbler so you have a nice um, clean seam. Let me see if I can find it on here. Um, nice seam with no uh, ghosting and um, no white spots or splits where the seam is. The first thing I do is um, print my page. I print at um, 8 0.4 height and 9.6 in the length. Uh, this particular design is um, one that I purchased and uh, this tumbler will go to my son's uh, jiu-jitsu instructor. Uh, she has a lot of sunflowers tattooed on her so she really likes sunflowers. Uh, anyway, um, I'm, I trim off everything off the sides of my tumbler or the sides of my paper, all of the white and I leave the white on the top and the bottom. Um, for the way I press, there's uh, no reason to uh, trim that off, so it just saves time. I line everything up. Let's see, almost. A little bit more. You want your image all nice and straight, and you want your ends to meet up there where the two pages come together. Once you have that, just kind of take your, your thumbs and your hands and push each of the images inwards, kind of pulling them nice and tight. Uh, so you want your paper to be against your tumbler as tight as possible while pressing. One more time. All right, I've got this tight, and I usually keep a piece of painter's tape on hand uh, just to throw it right over the middle there. Um, that way I can move on to my next steps without it coming unrolled on me. Uh, the next thing I do is um, continue lining up the, the sides and pulling it tight. I'm going to tape all the way down one side. I use the skinny uh, green heat resistant tape. Uh, I happen to just like it best. I have the other tapes, um, but one of the problems that you could run into with other tapes is that um, if you are pressing too hot or too long, you could end up getting that tape indention uh, marked in your tumbler. So I stick with the small. Uh, it gets the job done. And uh, if there does happen to be a mark left, then it's uh, not as visible as the other. All right, once those two side pieces are on, I take that off. And then I just continue working my way uh, down my tumbler covering the rest of the seam. As I'm covering the seam, I'll be constantly pulling the edges in and making sure it's tight. And once I lay my tape down, I take my nail and just run it along the seam there. And I do this all the way up and down uh, the entire length of the tumbler. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the reason I um, don't tape my, uh, well I got that one all kinds of crooked didn't I? Don't tape my top and my bottom is because when you are printing an image and then you are pressing it, you are taking that wet image and you are adding heat to it and that's going to create steam. And what that does is uh, create steam pockets inside your paper. And your steam has nowhere to go because you have taped everything up on it. So it's going to um, leave air pockets inside your tumbler, between your tumbler and your paper. And you will uh, you'll end up with um, white marks on your paper where air bubbles have formed from that steam trying to escape. So I don't bother with any of that. I don't tape the top and the bottom. I only tape this one strip right here. One more here. And then I do a piece sideways on the top and bottom. too high so I'm going to move it back down. Alright, and again
again one more time. I'm going to run my nail down the seam there. And that's it. This is all I tape my tumblers. That's it. Um, sometimes you can do too much. And like I said, um, that steam has nowhere to go. Well, this way it allows the steam to come out as you're pressing it. It also allows the paper to kind of um, push out instead of, instead of crinkling um, and causing a possible air pocket in there. So my heat press is set at 390 and I'm gonna press for one minute for each section. I don't put my uh, tumbler all the way in, just right up maybe an inch or two from the top. Um, and I press with, uh, I guess, a, a fairly moderate amount of pressure. I don't, I mean, I don't G.I. Jane it and squish it in there. Because again, all you're doing is messing with your paper underneath. Um, you want it to just lay against. Now, by not pressing my, uh, putting my tumbler all the way to the top, I'm allowing this foam inside my tumbler or inside my press to kind of wrap and cushion itself around the cup. So it's going to take that paper and kind of wrap it around the top edge. And that's how you're going to get your top edge all the way to the top. All right, we've got 10 more seconds on this one. Um, I do mark with a pencil so I know um, how far up I've went. Um, just so I know how much further I need to come down to press. And we're just going to turn it straight on over right there. And press again. Again, just a, a moderate pressure. You don't need it. I found I don't need a ton of uh, pressure when pressing. Um, sometimes I do uh, go over the ends again just to um, make sure I've got them. Um, but normally you can see through uh, the paper that you press and see your image through the paper. And once you can see it through the paper, you've usually got a pretty good press on it. The ends are tricky. The, the bottom end is very tricky because the way it curves, um, a lot of times it, it gets you. And also, um, if I'm printing an image, and something happens and I do have a, like um, yesterday I cut a piece and was pressing it and I trimmed off just a little too much where it didn't meet at one part of my tumbler and all I did was um, um, on the next image I printed I added some of that print like I just uh, cut um, part of the image and added it to the other image because the sheets I use, I have a uh, space on the ends to do that from where I trim. And then just cut that piece that you printed, the size of whatever your open piece is. Usually it's just a very small sliver. And you can lay that right over top of it with a piece of tape and then press that real quick. And you'll never know um, that you uh, had cut it too short. That, uh, doesn't really work for blowouts or ghosting. But if, uh, like I said, if you trim your paper too short and you have a little white spot, then just print an extra little piece of the same color you were printing and, um, and just press it on there. All right, a couple more seconds. I use um, an Epson Workforce ST4000 printer and I have a Vivo Home 11-in-1 heat press. When we were purchasing our printer and heat press, we did a lot of research. I uh, took into account exactly what I was going to be working with, whether it's tumblers or hats or shirts or blankets or anything like that. And I took into account those sizes and then um, I researched the printer for the sizes that I needed. I didn't buy one that had more than I needed or less than I needed. Um, I don't believe there's any sense in paying more money for um, additional uh, features or additional attachments 
if you're not going to use them. About 10 more seconds here. I do think I'm going to go ahead and go over the images, images I mean the edges, just a little bit more. Um, again, just, just to be on the safe side here. And we'll get it right up on the edges there. The paper and ink I use is Ink Owl. Um, I love the way their ink um, sub, uh, sublimates. It's very bright and colorful. All of my edges are just are bright and beautiful, and uh, I've never had a problem with them. The um, on the website, if you purchase the ink. You can uh, go to the website and put in your printer, tell you what ink you need to purchase, and also it has your uh, printer profile that you can download to your computer, and then upload it uh, when you are um, setting up your your printer, and it knows exactly how it needs to print your ink um, for the colors that you're trying to achieve. It's um, it's a great website. The material's great. The papers. It's a nice and uh, thick size. I'm just going around and just on the edges just a little bit more. I'm always a, a better safe than sorry kind of person. So, And what's going to take me just a couple minutes to do will be worth it in the end. Once I'm finished, I'm going to um, pull just the edge of the tape and have a look at my borders and see how they are. Um, and that's uh, one of the benefits about not having tape wrapped all the way around your tumbler is that um, you're able to peel back just a little piece and have a good look at it. I think, you know what, I'm just going to go over it all again. So it's all got the same amount of heat on it that I just put on the ends. Um, again, keeping the, the heat equal all the way around, pressure equal all the way around. And this is just a, a quick press, um, just a, you know, a few seconds each side, just to make sure it's got a little extra heat on it, just like the rest of it. And like I said, I'm going to pull a little image back here and have a look. If I can get the tape off without burning myself. All right, check the bottom. All right. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, oops, there is um, actually a little piece right there. So I'm going to roll that back on and get that right up back in there. See, that's the one benefit about... Um, being able to see and not have to deal with a whole bunch of tape. The rest of it, I think, it looks good. Oh, the seam looks great. Perfect. And one little spot right there. All right, well, I'm going to give this a rinse, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. It's all rinsed off, um, and this is it. Looks great. Um, oh, there's a little bit of water still there. Let me show you. This is your seam. Nothing there, just the two edges meeting, right where your print uh, comes together perfectly. All right, well, I hope this helps. Good luck.